Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I'm really excited today because we're back in the studio and our good friend and colleague Tommy, also known as Fast Handed, is gonna escape this beta tank for this guy whose name is Gruber. That's Mr. Gruber to you, mister. I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna do this whole thing in one take and uh, it's gonna take 15 minutes. Let's see if Fast Handed Tommy is gonna be able to escape this tank in 15 minutes. You guys are not gonna miss anything. Let's go. Time. Stop so gonna get on the ride Twisting and turning through life No matter how rough it gets I'll get by Hello guys, welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I always wanted to do that. So today we're gonna bring you a very quick aquascaping session. I'm gonna build a new home for Gruber, our beta fish, in 15 minutes in this new beta tank. I know that every day will always bring me something new so first thing first i'm gonna need to put on my gloves and if you have a ring definitely remove it because it's gonna just <coughs> make a hole in the gloves immediately and then what did they say about the gloves uh, some people said that we are just uh, well, basically making more trash in the world with using gloves. But uh, if you are into aquascaping on a daily basis, you know how much of a pain it is to have all your fingers uh, dirty all the time. So you definitely need it. So we're going to start with the Danella FB1 substrate uh, bacteria. Bacteria? You're putting bacteria in my aquarium? Yes, you're going to need it. Don't worry. I'm a Siamese fighting fish. Why would I need that? It's actually uh, the balance of the tank is going to be built much faster if you use bacteria in the substrate itself and not just water. New. Next thing I'm going to put here is also the Nella Deponit Mix, which is the main substrate for the plants. Hey, wait, you said I could have a black tank again. What's that? That's not black. Yeah, it's gonna be black because that's not the final layer. I don't want promises. I want results. What's the final layer? You will see soon. We just need to make this flat. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, just make sure you don't see it from the sides. Dude, I don't see the aquarium from the sides. I'm inside it. These things don't make the 15 minutes easier. Time. Do you even know what you're doing? Yeah, mostly. Mostly? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I've built quite a few tanks. Actually, I've never built one for a beta, but you're gonna be my lab rat. My lab rat? Yeah. Lab rat, it's not enough that I have to live alone my entire life in a single aquarium, but you're gonna call me a rat at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not gonna be alone, don't worry. I'm you're not gonna, gonna be have... alone. No, you're gonna have some algae eaters as friends. Uh, Algae eaters? Those guys are so boring. We're gonna hope that you won't eat them, so please be nice with them. Well, if they're nice to me, I'll be nice to them, but okay. nobody's ever nice to me. Yeah, they're gonna be. So now comes the Danella ah, there we quartz, go. and then you can have your blackness. Yes, that and style. Yeah, I know you love it. So actually, you can see that Tommy starts from the sides with the black uh, gravel. And then tries to pour it right in the front so I don't wash down the substrate. Just all in. So, like this. New. By the way, I think those gloves are stylish. Yeah, they are. We just wear them for the coolness, but don't tell anyone. Fish don't speak, man. So, like this. This is the first layer of the quartz gravel. I'm gonna need more, but I'm gonna start to put in the hardscape first, and then we're gonna see how much more. Dude, I think you're gonna need a lot more than that. That's barely enough. Yeah, but don't worry, we're gonna lift it. Actually. Ooh, that's a nice rock. I knew you're gonna love it. Glass everywhere. And I'm not gonna be busting the show, but we're already four minutes into the show. We got 11 more minutes. Don't you worry about that. 11 minutes, not that it matters. So actually we just glue the 
small piece of rock on the bottom of this bonsai tree so it doesn't float up from the first minute. Yeah, floating trees I hear is a problem around here. Yes, they are. But you've never seen a tree before, so this is gonna be new for you, but actually I'm gonna build you a proper bonsai. Does it matter that you're getting rocks in the tree? No. I just want to lift it and it's easier like this that I pour in and then I have the new height built up like this. this, be over now? Is this over? There are some leaves on the tree already but I didn't plant them so I have to check from up front. It actually starts to look nice. Yeah, a fish living under a tree, original. I have some small rocks as well. I'm gonna put this one. I don't want to remember. Right, in the meantime, I'm going to just tell you that uh, this is a Beta Compact 30 tank. It's uh, 30 plus 10 liters, which is 8 plus 2 gallons, US gallons. Tommy, what are the 10 liters or 2 gallons? Uh, this aquarium has actually has uh, a built-in filtration in the backside. Did he say backside? Like, they used to do it uh, on marine tanks for a long time now. It's quite new for normal aquariums, but it's actually a very good idea. A lot of people uh, with this, these small sizes, they don't really want to have uh, a cabinet underneath the, the aquarium that is used up by the technical parts of the aquarium itself. So this way you don't have to use an external filter. You have the filtration in the back and you can use proper filter media inside, which you couldn't do in, a, in an inner filter. be enough so now we actually have some uh, sponges some secant matrix about one liter and uh, 100 milliliters of secant purigen in the filter inside the tank and there is uh, an eheim compact on 300 in the back and that's gonna i want some action can i see the filter yeah sure can you open the top can i open up the top like this and then you can look inside here is the uh the compact on 300 under there, here is all the filter media. Can you take this sponge out so that we yes. can see? Yes, I take out the sponge. There is the Sika matrix and there is the purigen underneath. That's all nice, but I won't see any of that. It's hidden behind the black foil. And Sorry yeah. guys about the Sony autofocus. We still need to work a little bit more on that. That too. So the water will come through here and then go through the filtration and come back to the water like this. And this is also built in, this adjustable uh, outflow. So this is actually very good for beta because they don't really like high flow. So you can just make it go upwards and then there's not going to be a huge flow in the water itself. What do you mean I don't like high flows? I love high flows. No, you don't. Actually. Everything with, with high I love. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of high. But this is a family YouTube channel, so we don't even know what you're talking about. Tell that to your t-shirt, man. Behave yourself, please. Do you want to fight? So... I'm a fighting fish. We're gonna make the quartz a bit wet. You're so attractive, you even make the gravel wet. <laughs> So I can start planting. It actually makes planting a lot easier. And then we're gonna start off with uh, Marcella hirsuda in the front. It's actually a very, very slow growing carpet plant. But the reason I went with this one, we don't usually use this because of the uh, slowness. But now we're gonna have quite warm water in the tank. What kind of water? Warm water. Yeah, because I like it when it's warm. Yes, because Gruber likes it. So we're going to have a heater inside, which we actually never use in an aquascape. But this is mainly a beta tank and just secondarily an aquascape. So oh, we forgot to introduce you, Patricia. And she's a great yes. help with the videos. She's helping with all our videos. Also helping with the planting and everything. Aren't those just the leftovers of your salad for lunch? No, they're actually, they need some time to grow like a carpet. They always look like this from the start. They would need about two weeks to grow together. But I know you're very, very impatient, so. Not only am I impatient, but I love carpet. <laughs> I've never had carpet before. Yeah, I know. I like that. You've barely seen any gravel before we put that in there, so. Yeah, I don't care much about gravel, just as long as it's black. 
So actually, usually it takes some time, but since you're being impatient, we're actually gonna use uh, the starter bacteria from Danella, which you can put fish in your tank in 24 hours after setting it up, which is pretty quick. We usually go waiting for about two weeks before putting any animals inside, but with this new product, you can actually put them in after 24 hours. Wait, you mean I have to wait 24 hours before I can move in? Yes. I thought this was a 15 minute thing and I'm moving in today. No, you won't actually. Oh, You're gonna it... stay there for another day. Oh. But it's still, it's worth the wait. You're gonna have a much nicer home than you ever had before, so don't worry. In the meantime, I'm just gonna tell you that the size of this aquarium is a 30 by 40 by 30 centimeters, which is 12 by 16 by 12 inch. Sort of. Sort of. That's a much bigger cell than my previous one. And uh, what kind of light do we have above it? Uh, we have a Twinstar 300C, uh, which is actually the, the C series is uh, not too powerful, but powerful enough uh, for simple plants. And usually the most of the plants that can uh, bear the heat of about 25, 26 degrees, which we aim for, uh, degrees Celsius, of course, uh, those plants usually don't need a lot of light. So that's why we went for this one. And with this amount of light on, a, on an aquarium this size, you don't need to add uh, high pressurized CO2. So that's another thing for these plants, for Marsilea, that you don't need CO2 with them. You have to be very, very patient until it grows to a carpet, but you can do it without CO2, which is quite rare in the carpet plants. Are you also planting Marsilea in the background? Yes. We're not gonna see that. Yes, we're gonna I'll because... see it. What are you talking about? Yes, Gruber's gonna see it. And also the tank has got a place in the store where you can, well, not walk around it, but you're gonna see it from two sides, so. Look, I don't wanna rush you, but it's been 11 minutes so far. Already spent 11 minutes. It's crazy. No, so, it's actually 12 minutes, so we have three more. Hurry up, Tommy! My new introduction is that I'm gonna make you an aquascape in 25 minutes. Don't change the game rules, man. And you're gonna have to wait it out. I'm not waiting. So... You know that Peter McKinnon in the two minute uh, Tuesday session, he always passes the two minutes. Yeah, I know. If he can do it, I can do it. We're great fans of him. And uh, he has a very nice YouTube channel. Let's shout out to Peter McKinnon <laughs> while Tommy is planting really slowly. Really, really slowly. Do you need help with that? Should, should, should like Potty jump in and start planting as well? Well, if you can, it would be a lot of help. I think we're gonna run out of the 15 minutes. I, the great Gruber, can fight off 10 males from my territory in that amount of time. So actually, the name Gruber, who came up with this idea? I wanted to name you snowflakes or snow white but then i decided that you're a male so it's not gonna be fit i'm also a fighting fish remember who named him i did you did okay do you like your name do i like my name I, i've Mr. never gruber? had a name nobody i know has a name gruber sounds good snow white or what was it what did he say yeah snow white. it's a snowflake snow that, that, that's actually kind of nice. I'm, I am a nice guy, by the way, so, you know, you can say nice things to me. Just because I'm impatient about getting into my aquarium. I mean, you would be too if you lived in a box. Yeah, I'm sure. A glass so, box. After the Marsilea, I'm gonna uh, plant some Eleocharis <clears throat> pusilla from the Nerla, and it's usually a no-go without CO2, but actually this plant can stay alive without CO2. It just won't grow too fast. So you can't make a carpet out of it, but you can make some nice details without adding CO2 to the tank. So I'm way out of the 15 minutes, right? Yeah, I, I can already see that you're stressing. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah. Actually, um, take your time, do it right. I'm gonna be living in here for the rest of my short fish life. Yeah, 
Let's hope it's not gonna be too short. I can live five years if all goes well. I don't want to die early. Now we're gonna blame Tommy anyway for that. Yeah. Let's blame me. It's the easy part. Actually, I have no idea how it looks from the front. 15 seconds, Tommy. Please, someone. Do something Try about if it. If it's good enough. 10 seconds. And now the final part. We're actually gonna make this. Five, I can see five, his. Five, three, four, three, two. Don't rush me, one. guys. It's, 15, it's baby, already baby. gone. Push, push the button. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> Don't Tommy, stress me. You're overhead out. now. Yeah, I know. Time. We're almost Stop, ready. So gonna get on the ride. Please don't go away. It's gonna be nice. So if it's not quick, if it's quick enough, it's gonna look good. Yeah, it's starting to look good. And please, whenever you build an aquascape, don't try to rush yourself. If you don't have enough time for it, don't even start it. I agree with that. Do it right. Make it nice. I'm gonna be living in there. Yeah, exactly. So, as you can see, I don't glue the Anubias to the trees. I just try to find some spaces where it fits. And this way, it's way more natural. They're gonna grow to the tree quickly. And you can't do it with all kinds of fish because they sometimes uh, take the plants off. But Gruber is gonna be nice. You bet I'll be nice. So he's not gonna take off the plants. Man, that actually looks really good. I hope so. So, does it start to look like a tree now? Absolutely. Is that what trees look like? Cool. Yeah, I wanted to show you because you can't see them from underwater. But yeah, you're gonna have your own tree. How many friend of, friends of yours have trees? I don't have any friends. Okay. So, so let's give a big shout out to Felipe Oliveira and he's the tree man. He was yes. the one to invent this whole style. It's exactly. his merit to have it. Yeah, but he's actually over them. He doesn't do it anymore, so now we can have a go at it. But yeah, Felipe, thank you for inventing all this on the water. And uh, it's been 17 minutes, but we're actually done. So now we just have to fill it up. There's actually one more thing the heater itself, which is an A heater. And uh, this is a very small stuff. You can put it in the backside for the, beside the filtration. And this is preset for 25 degrees Celsius. So you don't have to adjust it or anything. And, and this was it. it. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say thank you to you. We're, We're a bit late. 17.38, yeah. boom. This was it. Thanks for, for everything. Uh, we'll fill it up with water and you guys are going to see we're going to shoot uh, tomorrow when he comes into it, when uh, yeah. Mr. Gruber comes into the tank. Thanks for following us. Subscribe if you didn't do so. Hit the like button if you like the quick 15 minute session at uh, Green Aqua with Tommy the fast handed, not so fast handed. Which is 70 minutes, but <laughs> which whatever. <that's> right. <laughs> Hit the bell button to get notified of our future uploads. Until next week. Bye. Bye bye. Something new oh.